हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 338 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमाइन द फोर्सेस इन केबल ए सी एंड ए बी नीडेड टू होल्ड द 20 के जी बॉल डी इन इक्विलिब्रियम राइट सो वी हैव दिस बॉल and the mass of this ball is 20 kg right so its weight will be acting downwards right so we can represent the weight of this ball and that will be acting at this particular point a right and this weight is equal to this weight is equal to 20 into 9.81 newtons right and there will be tension forces there will be forces in this ab cable and this ac forces right so we can represent those forces right so there will be a force in this ab cable which will be acting like this right from a to b and similarly there will be a force from a to c right so this we can write that this is ab force and this one is ac force right and further it is said that take f equals to 300 newton so we can write that this force f is 300 newton right and d equals to 1 meter right so we can write that this d equals to 1 meter right now let's say that this ab tension in this cable is making alpha angle with the horizontal right and let's say that this ac is making beta angle if we consider this triangle right let's say that this point is d right so if we consider this abd triangle so then we will be able to find this alpha angle right so if you want to find this alpha so we will apply tan alpha to that abd triangle right so tan alpha equals to perpendicular right so this bd is the perpendicular which is equal to 1.5 plus 1 right so this is 2.5 divided by this da the base of this triangle which is 2 meters right so we can write that this is 2 so from this we can find alpha so alpha equals to 10 inverse 2.5 divided by 2 i will calculate it a bit later right now we will find uh, this beta right so now if we apply tan beta to this triangle this acd triangle right so then mm, tan beta will be equal to this cd length which is equal to d which is 1 so i will write 1 divided by the base the base is 2 meters so we will divide it by 2 so then beta equals to 10 inverse and this is 1 divided by 2 now from this equation alpha equals to 51.34 degrees and beta equals to 26.57 degrees right now if we resolve both of these forces this eb and ac forces right if we resolve this eb force it will have one component which will be acting vertically upward right so and then there will be one another component of this ab which will be acting in this direction right so if if this if this ab is making alpha angle so then this one is the cos component right so we can write that this purple one is ab cos of alpha and similarly this one is ab sin of alpha right and now alpha is known alpha is 51.34 and similarly if we resolve this ac4 in ac force into its components right so it will have two components as well it will have one component which will be acting upwards right this green one and again this will be if 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 this ac is making beta so then this is ab sin of beta and similarly this ab will have one another component which will be acting in this direction let's say right this green one so this one will be the cos component right so we can write that this is ac cos of beta right this is ac this is ac sin of beta so now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 and let's say that this is our positive x direction and this is our positive y direction right this is our positive direction so as we can see that this force f is acting in the positive direction so we will write plus 
and similarly uh, this a b cause of alpha is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus a b cause of alpha and alpha is this alpha is known so we will write 51.34 and similarly this a c cause of beta is acting in the negative direction so i will write minus a c cause of beta and beta is known 26.57 degrees and this will be equal to zero or if we bring this 300 to the other side of equation so this will become minus so we can write minus 300 and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y axis is equals to zero and if this is our positive direction vertically upward right so we can say that we have this a b uh, sine of alpha right so i will write this is acting in the positive direction so i will write plus a b sine of alpha alpha is 51.34 degrees similarly this component a c sine of beta is acting in the positive y direction so you will write plus a c sine of beta and beta is 26.57 degrees and similarly this weight is acting downward right so we can write that this is minus 20 into 9.81 and this is equal to 0 or if we bring this to the other side of equation so this will become positive so we can write it like this so now we have these two equations and two unknowns now if we simplify this cause of 51.34 so this is uh, 0 0.625 so this will be minus 0 0.625 and this is minus 0 0.894 ac equals to minus 300 and similarly if we simplify this so this is 0 0.781 ab plus 0 0.447 ac equals to 196.2 now if i divide this whole equation by this minus 0 0.625 so then we will have ab and min minus 0 0.894 divided by minus 0 0.625 so this is equal to uh, this will be plus 1.430 ac and minus 300 divided by this minus 0 0.625 so this is 480 let's say this is our equation one right now if i divide this whole equation by 0 0.781 so 0 0.781 divided by 0 0.781 so we will have a b plus 0 0.447 divided by 0 0.781 so this is uh, 0 0.572 so i will write 0 0.572 ac and 196.2 divided by 0 0.781 so this is 251.2 and let's say this is our equation 2 now if we uh, subtract equation 1 from this equation 2 let me write equation 1 here so this is a b plus 1.430 ac equals to 480 this is our equation 1 right and we want to subtract equation 1 from 2 right so the sign will change this a b will cancel out and 0 0.572 minus 1.430 so this is minus 0 0.858 ac and this is 251.2 minus 480 so this is minus 288 228 sorry so this is 228.8 and similarly if you want to find ac so then ac will be equal to minus 228.8 divided by minus 0 0.858 so from this ac equals to 266.67 newtons right so this is the tension in that ac rope right now if you want to find a b so we can use this equation one so from equation one we can write a b equals to 480 minus 1.430 ac and ac magnitude is known now right so this is 266.67 so from this when we solve this so a b 
equals to 98.66 Newton, right? So, this is the tension in that A B rope and this is the tension in that A C rope, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem.